Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've never done this before, so bear with me. My name is Maria and I am a wife to a wonderful husband and a mother to one beautiful daughter who's almost one. She's down there, so if you hear anything, that's probably her. I had to kind of, the camera's probably going to be a bit wobbly because each time I try to set it up, it didn't go well. Somebody doesn't like to have the attention taken off of her, but that's perfectly fine. Um, so I'm going to show you a fun, uh, a fun video, um, a DIY that I've seen on a few other channels as well as TikTok. I think it might be a trend or something like that. But I hope that you enjoy what I'm going to show you. If you do, can you, uh, if you just, uh, if you subscribe and like and even leave a comment or share, that would be great. Um, but I have so many other things that I'm excited to show you, such as a bunch of fun DIYs for hopefully future um, building projects that I uh, that we have in mind, hopefully within the next year. So thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy this video. What I have is one of those at-home cauldrons that I bought, which are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm actually going to try to make a removable one using this round. The reason for that is because I might actually want to use this later on. So we will see. I also have a bunch of ornaments and they are these. Some of them came from those uh, holiday time clear ornaments and some of them came from like the Dollar Tree ones that I really like because they're more of an iridescent color. Now what I want to do is I actually want to paint the bottom of the round using this. It's a pearlized paint that I got from Walmart. So what I need to do first, let me take all this stuff out of the way, is cut the round so I can actually do it. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to get a pen and cut a circle around here. And I'm going to start over on this side and just cut around. It should might be a little bit hard under the handles. It's shifting. Oh, I'll fix it. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to fit loosely in the uh, in the cauldron. Now, I'm going to do my best to cut this and then cut it so that it fits on the inside of here. Probably just a little bit around it. Sorry, I wish I could have shown you better, but I'll do the best I can. Oh, I didn't know that was there. Oh, well. So what I'm doing is getting some scissors and cutting this. Sorry, I don't have the best of view. I don't have a very good tripod. I'm trying to remedy so I can actually get Bubby. get rid of this all right and let's see how well this is so what I'm going to try to do is just cut a little tiny bit off of here like very little bit maybe of a quarter of an inch just to try to fit it right in here so it actually fits so what I'm doing is all I'm doing is just cutting around here I'm not painting it yet because I don't necessarily need to do that. I don't want to waste paint that I could use for a different project. 
So, all right. Mm, nope, a little bit more. Let me get this out of the way so I don't end up damaging it later on. That would be horrible. So all I'm going to do is just cut around here till it fits very nicely in the middle. And hopefully all the balls that I'm going to glue in there are going to cover any mistakes I made nicely. a little bit more. Ha ha! Success! Alright, I'm going to get my paint, get all this stuff out of the way, And get my paintbrush. I know a little bit big, but it'll give me even more room. Take this off of here. Put on a piece of paper, towel. Don't mind that. And cover it pretty well. Let's try a little bit more. It looks beautiful, I'll tell you that. It has a pearlized there, just like it's just like on the thing. It looks really good. I'm hoping it's gonna look really good with the cauldron and all the bubbles. I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll just put on a second coat. Now that the first coat is dried, I'm going to go on ahead and put another coat of this on to try to make the area deeper, because if you could tell, you have a lot of streaks in here. I don't know how much you could see. Yeah, you could see. You have a lot of streaks in here where you can see the cardboard through it. I kind of want to make that a deeper color so it doesn't pop through as much. So what I'm going to do is pour more on here, and if you hear the baby in the back, she's having fun. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and paint this on here, and then I'm going to let it dry. I probably should have put a paper towel on, but I can take that up easily. Now to let that layer dry. Okay, now that so I had to start a new video. Um, the previous one, and the reason why I'm doing the uh, the voiceover is the previous video that I had. I didn't really like it because of how everything, how the ornaments were positioned on it. It didn't one, it didn't fill it out, but two, everything, all the ornaments look like lines. What I'm showing here is I had to get more ornaments. Because the other one, I did, did not have enough um, to make it look good. I decreased the size of the rounds, the purple thing, and to uh, to fit inside the cauldron more. And so right here, I'm just showing you how I'm going to position uh, all the ornaments. 
there's no particular order to it, no rhyme, no reason, but I really do love how um how the middle part looks really smoky. Um it's the inside has this tinsel that it has actually a purple tint to it. So it really matches along um along with the bottom. Um I had the ornaments on either side so that way it could um that way it could actually fit into the cauldron. So I uh, I hot glued it so that way it could actually fit into this cauldron without like the round going in. So now, since everything's uh, glued on, I could actually position the ornaments wherever I decide to put them, which is actually really fun. Um, I decided to put the small ones on because I was able to get uh, small ornaments too, so it could fill it out more. Because I wanted to, I wanted the um, the cauldron to look just like bubbles coming up and. With bubbles, you have big ones and small ones, and I just thought that it looked a lot better with uh, with the small ones too. I wanted to, those were thankfully iridescent, even though the new ornaments weren't. But they are Christmas ones. Uh, they do have the uh, the tinsel inside to make it look smoky, so it more it looks more iridescent. But it actually works really well. So I'm not really doing anything particular with how I'm putting everything together. As you can see, I have some ornaments that are going on the top, some ornaments that are going around the sides. And I was just commenting how much I was actually enjoying doing it because um, I really liked how it turned out. Um, I had to, um, I had some glue on the um, on the old ornaments, there, uh, the iridescent ones. And so I was happy I was able to fit them in there, and so you couldn't really see the uh, the hot glue. I was just having a ton of a uh, ton of fun and playing with the baby because she was um, she was at this point just talking, and I was talking to her too. It's a lot of fun having her around. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I was really liking how it was turning out. I like the fact that it just it. That it's not like a like a store bought one to where you have just a uh, like a couple um, a couple ornaments on there and it's specifically placed, but this is just more fun and you can make it however you want and I love that. I love DIYing. Oh, I had some uh, some um, some glitter in there. Some of them had come with glitter. And I was I was I was actually debating whether or not I should take those out, but I figured that that would actually look a lot better. Um, I was I wanted to know if or I was trying to figure out if I should put a glue or tackiness inside so that way um, a lot of the glitter could stick uh, could adhe um, be adhesive to the uh, to the outside. But I decided against it, and I thought that it looked a lot better like this. So I'm just putting them all over the place just to make sure that everything looks distributed well and everything looks nice that's just having all sorts of fun but then again you know when you can DIY your own stuff you tend to have more freedom and more fun instead of like doing stuff for other people I was also trying to take off the uh all the hot glue because it was looking like spider webs and even though spider webs are great for Halloween not the most fun for like the bubbles of a cauldron because yeah they don't fit on there <laughs> I was just putting more, trying to figure out exactly where to put everything. And just showing you exactly that. I really wish I could have gotten a better uh, a better camera view. Because um, unfortunately the tripod that I have, it wasn't going to... I couldn't figure out where to put every uh, the tripod on there. So that way you could see everything a lot better. And it, that way... All of the uh, all of what I was doing was gonna uh, be put in there. I'm showing you some cotton balls. So I was talking to my husband about how to make that look a lot better and not just um, not just bubbly, but have like foam coming out because I was uh, seeing how you could uh, how you could see from um, around the cauldron that a lot of the uh, per a lot of the uh, round was showing. And so my husband and I were discussing that, and I uh, I told him that I uh, that I already thought of having a cotton ball and putting glue on it. And when you put glue, uh, when I put, not glue on it, I'm sorry, paint, the same as your iridescent paint, or the same purple paint. And so I put paint on it, and I'll be showing that to you, so I could actually make it look like, uh, like the cauldron was, uh, was starting to come out and, uh, pop over. Or the, yes, the potion was coming out and popping over the edge. So I was trying to put more, uh, more bigger ornaments around and make it look 
more even um even with some of them i wanted to put um i wanted to put some of the bubbles to where it looked like it was uh, actually like bubbling over which was really a lot of fun i'm just putting more small bubbles on there just to make sure that everything actually looks really good and that it looks kind of evenly distributed and not just not just one type of a uh, ball but to make everything look interesting see this is where i'm showing you that i'm gonna uh that everything is kind of moving over to the side and uh and the cauldron looks like it's bubbling over to the side so i decided to put the bubble uh, to put the ornaments on the side so it looks like it's bubbling over and i'm trying i was trying to also make sure that when i uh when i was adhering all the ornaments to it that it wasn't just gonna like come right off because hot glue takes a second for it to uh, to cool down so I could actually stay on there. I love how this looks. I think it's just so cool. I'm really glad that I was able to see um, some of the, the the TikTok trend and like it was mostly uh, through YouTube um, YouTubers that I was watching that and seeing how it looked and I just really liked how it was because I already had the cauldron. And I was trying to figure out besides, you know, using it for um, for liquids, what I could do to decorate because I really liked it. And so this was actually the perfect thing. So yeah, it's just I'm just sitting there waiting for uh, for the hot glue to to cool down so that way I could actually so that way it would uh it would stick and I didn't have to hold everything down, but it but everything would be right in place. Sorry, I'm repeating myself. You can see a lot of the hot glue strands. My husband was right around there watching what I was doing with the baby. They were playing in the background. Yep, yeah, just placing the tiny ones so that way it looks more... It, looks, it looked like a huge potion, I'm not going to lie. It was actually pretty fun. I didn't want it to be a small one. I want, I want, it, basically it's like suds are in there. So now I'm just popping it up, seeing, showing you how cool that it was that I could actually keep it, like take it out and I could put, uh, put the bubbles to the side. So that way one day, um, one Halloween when I don't want to use it for, with the, uh, with the suds that I could just put it to the side. And now I'm going to now I'm going to go on ahead and uh, paint the um, the cotton balls, and I'm not going to use um, anything but my hands. I'm not going to use any gloves because there's just no point. All it is is it's easily uh, it's easy to uh, to wash off your hands. Now I was just trying to experiment at this point, seeing if I can't uh, seeing if I could do that, and I really liked how it turned out. So as I was trying to figure out how many I could put in there, how exactly to do it so that way it did look like fuzzy. Um, potion coming out yeah right here I wish I could have actually showed you um I wish I could have shown you exactly what I was trying to do but I didn't even realize at that point <laughs> that it was out of uh that it was out of screen when I was uh putting all the paint on the cotton ball but see in there I realized that I didn't have it in screen so now you can actually see what I'm doing but all I'm doing is doing the exact same thing that I was doing to every single one of them. And then I'm just going to let it dry and then put everything on there. Yep, so I'm putting everything away. So I'm back. Thankfully, having a fast drying paint allows you to hurry up and get these things done. So I have these cotton balls that are painted purple with the iridescent glitter on them. So what I'm going to do, I don't know how to like zoom in or anything like that to make it look good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you. I'm going to put this cotton ball right in this little area. See how that goes. And I air it in like a, hopefully it's going to look good. Well, I'm getting glue on my mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I think it looks kind of good. Let's get another piece right in here. Mm. 
And then let's see where else I could put a piece so it actually looks good in here. I'm going to do one right in here. And then if all this works out, I'm going to do all this off camera and then show you how it looks in the end. Because now you know exactly how I'm doing it. That looks good. Maybe I put some around here. Alright, well I'm going to go on ahead and uh, go off camera for a second so I could get more cotton balls and make it bubble up a little bit. So, I will be back. As promised, I went on ahead and finished all the cotton balls, making it look, I think, really cool. Like it's kind of foam coming out i wish i could turn this there we go don't mind the cord right there i'm gonna keep the uh, the lights hidden but i really like that i think it looks really cool it looks like you have a potion brewing and some and the iridescent looks really good on it too i really wanted to get um i really wanted to have like twinkle lights but you know what this is what i had on hand so this is what i used really like it i'll show it to you later on tonight when it's more uh, when it's more visible but i hope that you enjoyed that here is the cauldron at night with all the lights on i really wish that it had twinkly lights but i work with what i have and i absolutely love it i think it's great you have all the uh bubbly um detail right there for the, uh, the potion that's coming out. I think it's so pretty. And it looks great. Next to its counterpart, the potions. I still have to find the... Um, I bought a potion thing uh, uh, with eyeballs in it. I just have to find it. I'm not sure exactly where it is. But I'll eventually find it. But I think it makes a really great... Um, I think it complements that area very well. So I'm very pleased with it. Well, if you like what you see, please consider subscribing and like and even uh, even comment uh, below. I would love to see what you would have to say. And if you have any suggestions, I'd love that. Thank you.